Hey y'all, Phil here with High Tech Legion. Back in 2009, before Wireless N was finalized, N Draft was kind of the thing to have. There are a couple problems. It, very few devices actually used it, and there was a huge price premium on it because it was the new wireless technology. A few years later, and it's pretty much everywhere. Almost every device on the market now has some kind of wireless end connectivity. And because of that, because it's everywhere, the price premium is pretty much gone. So there's really no reason to hold you back anymore uh, from upgrading to wireless end. And if you're in the market for uh, an adapter because you don't want to run cables or because you can't run cables, you can pick up a, an adapter for under $30 now. Case in point, we have from Asus the PCE N15 wireless N adapter. This guy uses a PCI Express 1X slot, so just make sure you have that and probably good to go. So it sounds like there's a lot of features in a very affordable package. So let's get this open and uh, see how well it delivers. Alright, here it is, the Asus PCE N15 PCI Express adapter for wireless N. It'll do 300 megabits per second. It has Wi-Fi protected setup, and it also has something called software AP, so that this guy can act as a virtual access point without having to disconnect from your network. I'm gonna turn it over. The WPS setup is supposed to be. Just click the WPS button on there. Push the button on your router, and everything should be set up. Let's see specifications. It'll do WEP security. WPA and WPA2 security, that's pretty good. Supported operating systems are XP, Vista, Win7, and Linux. Uh, so we'll have to give Linux a try too. Right, let's open it up. Here are the antennas. Here's the low profile bracket. And, oh wow, look at the size of that chip. Does anybody else remember when the uh, wireless B adapters had heat sinks and practically needed a fan so they didn't overheat? That's impressive. Look how small technology's gotten. Alright, we have a quick start guide here. Set up instructions. Okay. And warranty. So, as far as setup goes, just one little tip right now. Always go into the manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers. The CD that comes with these things is usually barely out of beta drivers um, that still have some kinks that need to get worked out. So let's plug it in and test this guy. for the PCE N15 is a Dell DW1501. It's an entry level NIC card for uh, laptops. The initial benchmarks look pretty promising. Um, about 60% gain over the Dell during a, uh, a LAN speed test benchmark and it took less than half as long to copy 5 gigabytes from a server uh, on my home network to the uh, host machine. And even in games, uh, versus a gigabit wired connection, we only saw another 5 to 10 milliseconds. Linux installation was pretty easily, uh, as about as easy as it gets for Linux. The generic drivers took over right away uh, as soon as I booted into Linux. Um, it's pretty much as you would expect. Installing the um, actual drivers in Linux from Asus was well, like I said before, about as easy as it gets in Linux. Um, the software access point 
was a little bit difficult to get set up. Um, clicking into the access point mode was pretty easy. You just open up the UI and uh, in the bottom left corner there's a little uh, AP button. And you just click on that and it shuts down the regular mode and starts it up as access point. Um, you can figure that however you need to just like you would configure for a regular uh, Wi-Fi and um, then you connect with whatever your device is. I connected with the laptop and uh, I was able to get internet. Before I could get internet though I had to go through all the steps of setting it up uh, to share a wired connection. If you do not have a wired connection the software access point mode is completely useless. Uh, and you have to know how to set up internet connection sharing in Windows so that it will work. Once I did that it actually worked pretty good. Granted, speeds were a little bit slower because I was going through another computer, but, you know, what are you going to do? Say la vie. Now, unfortunately, though, it wasn't all good. Um, as soon as I moved the card out to about 25 feet from the router, the performance gains were pretty much lost. Um, inside the LAN speed test, it was only about 5 megabits per second faster than the Dell card uh, as compared to previous being a whole 30 megabits per second faster. That's a pretty significant drop uh, in speed for only about 25 feet. So um, I've definitely seen other cards perform a lot better than that. But otherwise on the whole uh, it works pretty well. It's uh, as far as reliability. I had no problems with uh, connection stability. The uh, It was really easy to use. The interface was nice and clean. Um, so based on all of that, I'm going to have to give this guy our High Tech Legion Silver Award. Uh, it just, it was nice and easy to use, but it wasn't a stellar, crazy good performer either. It was pretty much middle of the road performance wise. So guys, once again, I'm Phil. Thank you for watching our videos. Please be sure to subscribe on the button down there. And uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And be, come visit our website for even more reviews. www.hightechlegion.com And visit our forums while you're there. We'd love to say hi. Um, and um, thanks for watching. And uh, See you again soon.